and the pro scene, I'm probably like, if you ask the players, I'm probably like top three funniest. I think I'm top one, but I give myself top three. I do, I do this dance they love, just. If it's 10 and one, over a minute in the hill, ridiculous start to the land league for him. My name is Anthony Method Zendi, and I'm a professional Call of Duty player. I was playing Modern Warfare 2, and someone had the name Methods, and I was like, that's cool, so I stole it. And that's pretty much how I got Methods. I grew up in uh, Homedale, New Jersey. I moved there when I was in fifth grade from a town called Hazlitt, which was like five minutes away. Growing up, my main sport was probably baseball. I was a pitcher, and my best accomplishment doing that was we played second in states, which was pretty cool at the time. I had like 100 strikeouts that season, so I wasn't bad. I was definitely the class clown. That was my definition. If we're losing a scrim, the vibes probably aren't that good. Then I'll just crack a nice joke, and just like that, the kids are back. I think it comes from my dad a lot too, because my dad's really funny. I'm sort of like a knockoff version of my father. My family has always been very, very supportive, and we've always been very loving. Probably more supportive than I like, just because they're constantly asking questions. My mom still does my laundry, like I'm, I'm a spoiled little kid. My dad would drive me to all my baseball games, I come to everything, so my grandparents. I have two siblings, one younger sister and one younger brother. They've been to an event, they, they went to MLG Dallas in 2013. It's hard for them with younger siblings, obviously, they're going to school, it's not easy for them to come to events, but they're always watching, they're always texting me, always calling me. When I first wanted to go like pro and travel to a different state to play, they were sort of like confused and I'll be honest, they weren't that supportive. Like they weren't like no, but they were just like, why? What does it tell you for methods right now that you have the most time in the hardcore of all players in the lobby and you're also 24 and eight getting full streaks. Like that's just, that's like LeBron type numbers you're having yeah. right now. My dad has four jobs. Like my dad works really hard and he's been working hard since he was six years old. Like he used to do a paper route where he would just go on a bike and deliver papers at 4 a.m which I could never do. I really wasn't the best behaved in school. I, I was sort of slacking off in school a lot. I don't recommend doing that to anybody watching this. Uh, it's definitely something I wish I can go back and change. I was constantly getting called from the principal, getting detention, suspended a few times, and that was like the crossroads. Like my mom would say, take away his gaming, and my dad would say no, because I'm making money from it. Growing up, I really didn't realize how big I was. The highest weight I ever was was 215 pounds, and I'm only 5'8 now. When I was that, I was probably like 5'7, so I looked even worse. The one inch helps a lot. I've lost around 55, 60 pounds overall. I really wasn't happy with the way I looked and, and felt back then. You know, now I feel way more energized and just healthier in general. I go to the gym pretty much daily, at least five days a week. I was going to college part-time. I was doing like three or four classes per semester. I was studying communications because I was talking to Chris Bucket coming up. Like when I was on my come up, he, uh, I would go down to New York and like the studios, I'd take the train and I'd commentate with him. Anytime we had an opening on the eSports report or if I needed a player in the local area to come do a show live from the MLG studios, Methods was such an easy choice of someone to work with. He would always be down regardless of the challenge, regardless of the task for the day. Really flexible, he, he's just entertaining. Someone that you would laugh just being around. He always helped me out a lot. The first Call of Duty I ever played was Call of Duty 4 on my friend's console. I, I knew I was good off online, but that really didn't matter much. It all mattered about going to LAN events and performing in big tournaments. My first ever LAN was probably an NJ Halo local, and a bunch of pros would go to them that are local, of course, and you compete, you win, you win like $400, $500 each, so nice chunk of change and you have a good time. I was always friends with some some pros like locally, so Spacely, Embos, Huddle. You know, these are all people that I came up with, so I would team up with them and we'd play. People like Skump would come because he was from Philly, Assassin. There were just so many players around and like that was back then like there was so little money as compared to now that like going to those was was everything. It was really fun. So my first ever MLG event was MLG Dallas. I played seventh. A huge losers bracket run for like twelve hours and then we finally just broke into that first top eight. So top eight's considered pro and like that was just like crazy to me. Nate Shot was like the guy. If I tweeted something stupid, he'd tell me to delete it. And he was just really an overall good role model to do what I wanted to do. So my dad came to the tournament, and he talked to Nayshot, and Nayshot was like, your kid has talent, your kid can do this, like support it. And I think that was like the first time my dad actually like took it like really serious. That was like my dad first was just like, all right, like you can do this full time and I'm not gonna bug you. So in 2015, when Advanced Warfare, my team had a spot at X Games, and I had the decision whether to attend prom or go to X Games, because they were the same weekend. And at the time, it was like, 
I assume that there'd be more X Games, and now I know there isn't, but I assume that there'd be more and that there'd be more opportunities to do that. When I'm 35, I don't want to look back and be like, I should have went to senior prom with my friends. So I just wanted to take a break, lose weight, really just have fun for like the last part of my senior year. And I thought it'd be way easier to get back in. And I was sadly mistaken. Like for two years, I was just not in the pro eyes at all. Like I, my Twitter was dead. Like I had 100,000 followers that didn't even reply to me. When I was able to join Rise Nation, that was like when I really first stepped back into like the spotlight. And that's what really got my name out there. CWL Atlanta, recently in 2018, it was crazy. That was my first ever tournament win. We didn't lose a series. We came from winner's bracket and, and I won MVP. So that was just like crazy. XRN and Rise has done it. I just love watching him win and seeing him take one of the early MVP awards this season. I think that was a personal highlight for me. You know, it's awesome to see where he went in his career. For five years, I've been playing in front of thousands of people, signing autographs, taking pictures, which is still insane to me. You watch people win and it's like crazy and then you actually do it and you're just like, what just happened? I really didn't expect to like actually break into the scene. Like I, like, I watch people do it, I'm like, that's really cool. But I never really expected that I would actually be like here right now. Like if you told me six years ago that I'd be sitting in this chair doing an interview, you're like it'd be a laugh in your face. I think it's really cool that I'm like, one of the 40 North American World League players. That's sort of insane. Like I'm like 0.00001% of players that have the chance to do this. So I feel very accomplished. Yeah, I'm very, very grateful for it too.